Woo! Aloha everyone. So stoked to start off with a few art projects that you can do from home. And uh, as you can see here, you got a couple, you got some scissors, pen, a couple little paint brushes, you know, um, already used this one, razor blade, scissors are fine, pencil, got a piece of cardboard right here. One, two, three, four, five colored, different colors of paint, white, black, and then three bright ones. So what we're gonna do here is make, turn a frame, any frame that you have in the house. This can be a five by seven, nine by 12, eight and a half, eight by 11, 11 by 14. This is 11 by 14. So what we're gonna do is pop the back out of it like this, right? Bing, 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 bing. Pop the back out, something like that. So what we're gonna do, use the pencil, trace the back of the frame right there. Then you can use scissors. I'm gonna use a razor blade because I have one, but scissors, whatever. Careful. Cut off the edges. Now we got our piece of artwork. This is gonna go in the back of the frame here. Like, like so, see it fits. It's gonna be fine. So, put a little color. I'm gonna use a, this is Nova paint. This is great stuff, this is my favorite. But, I mean, this is also a little kid's crayon paint. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw down some color. But what I'm gonna do is keep it all about an inch from the edges. Half the fun is just kind of being a little loose with it and not taking it too seriously. You're doing this on a piece of cardboard. You have tons of time right now to do it. So what I would do is just kind of freestyle. Go for it, see that? I got the little square block here. And now I'm gonna just kind of abstract. I'm gonna keep my paint pretty thin. That way it dries quick, you know? So this is my second color. I'm doing a light color and a little bit darker. A little purple in there, see this? Super simple, right? Just pouring out there. You know, you can get yourself a little bolder, do a couple little waves. You could probably do this project a little bit better than I'm doing it. So, yeah, but keeping it simple for you guys. So, you got the background colors, and now we're gonna take, this is a, I don't know, half inch brush. See that little guy? And I'm gonna take some black. It really doesn't take much paint, and I'm just gonna do this. Hitting this around the edges, and this little border thing that I do is just kind of a fun way to add an element to your piece without it being too busy. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do your piece so busy that it comes out like a bad tattoo. You don't want just like a million things in there clustering up and kind of just, you know, making it too busy. This is a way that you can busy and have a lot of movement and action in your piece without it kind of taking it away from it. So, you can see there, this is the, the base of the piece. And we're gonna let this dry for a minute. We're going to make ourselves a little octopus sketch. I'll draw seven tentacles. Won't even know until it's done. So this is a great way to kind of give yourself a check and a little practice before you lay it down in color. Yeah, it's got paint on it, but you can see, so now it's the size of the piece and I'm going to draw the octopus. I know I got like an inch in for the color, so I'm gonna start with that. Then I'm gonna draw a circle or an oval. See that? You can draw straight lines, right? Everyone can draw straight lines. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we only got seven tentacles going. So what I'm gonna do is turn this middle one into two. So I'm just gonna go like that and cross that out. Now I know where to go. So from here I can just go, oh, tentacle. Oh, tentacle. Oh, another tentacle. And I mean, really, you can see how simple this is, just swervy lines. Tentacle, woo, another one. Oh, that's not one, almost caught myself. Tentacle, tentacle, and I'm not really going much further than my, my sketched out lines. So, another tentacle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got all tentacles, and I'm gonna put my eyeball in there. Oval, circle, oval, eyeball. You can see where we're going with that, right? So now I'm gonna use my scissors. 
and I'm going to cut this out. I am kind of speeding through this, this project a little bit quickly. For one, this is my first time doing a video of projects and I'm pretty insecure when it comes to doing this sort of thing in front of people. But luckily I'm here alone in the studio so I don't have my friends or wife laughing at me while I make all the mistakes. I'm doing a little bit of a hack job. You're not building a submarine. This is a art project that you're just trying to get a little color up in your house. You know, one part I like about doing the sketches and then cutting them out, drawing them multiple times, tracing on the piece is that it really kind of comes to life. Every little time you make your mistakes a little bit better. So if you kind of sketch your octopus out like three or four times and then you cut it out and if you're actually taking some time on this, you can cut it out pretty well and then you're gonna draw it onto your, your background piece here. And it just gets better and better. So by the time you actually get down to doing your final paint moves, it's gonna come out pretty good. You, you'll be impressed. So this technique definitely works. We do it in our art classes in the art gallery and it works for me. So, so now I'm just tracing my stencil and you can see I'm, I'm not being 100% accurate of my scissor cuts and that's because this is just ends up being a guide. Actually, it makes it so you can kind of get some flow in your lines. I'll draw my eyeball, it's basically a big circle, the oval in it, and a big eyeball. See that? It's coming along. What you can do if you want, give yourself some black lines. Every time you do your octopus, you kind of wanted to get it a little better and better. So I'm gonna actually focus here and get these lines how I want them. So it's coming along. I'm just glad there's eight tentacles. It's the worst when you make a octopus piece and then you know you get you get it in a frame and you take it to the gallery and it's hanging up on the wall and uh, someone goes, is there only seven tentacles on that? So draw the eyeball, nice big circle. This is my little formula for eyeballs with the little sleepy eye going there. And I'm going to take my pink paint and I'm gonna fill it in. If you only have two colors of paint going and you use both colors on the background, this could be filled in with pens. But if you, if you only have one color of paint, I would use your paint on your, your background and then do the rest in pen. You know, it's okay if I go over the black, but I'm, I'm trying to stay in the lines. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the black again with my same brush that I did the outside lines. And you can take your time on this. You know, you're, you're cruising at home, putting in the whites of the eyes. That little, I'm sure we'll put that in there now. All right, and then I'm gonna do my little dashes. Deep. Deep, 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 deep. Okay, guy just help accent it up. Most of the stuff on the edges here are gonna be covered by the frame. And doing this, I'm kind of realizing there's a lot of brown cardboard still sticking through, so I might double down on my white dashes and try to eliminate that brown. Brown's a, you know, it's an earth tone, subtle, it's subdued. It's not, it's not as bright as, as I like to make stuff. Get rid of some of this cardboard earth tones right here. But you know, if you live out in the somewhere cold and dark, you might like the earth tones. It might just be a little more calming. You can see how that really brightened it up. I mean, I didn't cover all the brown, but it's got a unique look to it. All right, so now I'm taking my little wider brush and you really could use the same brush for the whole things. I just have one of those $2 brush kits where they give you like 30 different brushes. So I'm gonna do my black lines. And you can see how so much of the, I mean, particularly with this brush, how it really oversimplifies your curves. So something to remember when you're kind of doing this is to keep it simple. Don't be afraid to do it twice. It really doesn't take much to do a fun little art project and it doesn't take very much time. It's a little funky. I did do this pretty quick. Next thing's important to do is to sign your piece. Make up a name for yourself, whatever you wanna do. I sign my stuff, Wellesie. Here we go, Wellesie. Signed, signed, sealed, delivered. This is really what it'll come out in the frame. Check it out, I'm gonna be doing some more, I think we're gonna do some block carving, painting some ukuleles, how to paint a surfboard. Check the YouTube channel, that's where it's all gonna go up to it. Subscribe to it so you can see when stuff comes out or something. Leave a comment anywhere on anything, let me know. A thumbs up goes a long way. This might be a way where I can start making more stuff and sharing with you and getting you guys inspired to make some projects. A little color goes a long way. So stay inspired and stay tuned. Aloha.